Shalom and welcome to Spirit Led Ministries, where we are led by the Ruach Akadesh to bring the word of truth to all of those who have an ear to hear what the Ruach have to say to the people of Yahuwah or Alakim. Today on the biblical calendar, it is the ninth month, the twelfth day. On the Romans calendar, it is November the 24th, 2012. Our topic for today will be signs of the time, uh, what to look for in these last days, but we'll begin our lesson today with prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you with your word before us. Open up your scriptures to us. Teach us your will. Teach us your ways so that we can be pleasing in your sight. Help us today to understand, understand your heart so we can be a person after your own heart. Fill us, Father, with your reward. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach, who came in the mighty name of Yahuwah. Amen. Oh man, okay, so what to look for in these uh, last days, what that even means. Um, we'll get into what the Mashiach, uh, Yahushua, had to say. We'll start um, in the book of Matthew, and that will be Matthew chapter 24, verses 3 through 14. All right, so let's see what the Mashiach had to say about the end times, what to look for. And it reads, And as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the Talmudim, or uh, the disciples, came to him separately, saying, Say to us, when shall this be? And what is the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? And Yahushua answered, said unto them, said to them, sorry, Take heed that no one leads you astray. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Amashiach, and they shall lead many astray. And you shall begin to hear of fightings and reports of fightings, or as uh, the King James Version says, wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for these have to take place. But the end is not yet, for nations shall rise against nation and reign against reign. And there shall be scarcities of food and deadly diseases and earthquakes in places and all these things, the beginning of birth pains. Then they shall deliver you up to affliction and kill you, and you shall be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many shall stumble and they shall deliver one another, deliver up one another, sorry, and shall hate one another and many false prophets shall rise up and lead many astray. And because of the increase in lawlessness, the love of many shall become cold. But he who shall endure to the end shall be saved. And this good news of the reign shall be proclaimed in all of the world as a witness to all nations, and then the end shall come. Amen. So we hear uh, these different signs to look for. Um, the, the Mashiach wanted us to pay attention, pay attention to the things of the world so that we can know as followers of him what to look out for, what to look forward to uh, his coming and what to look forward to to avoid so that we can know that uh, if those are the actual signs that uh, he addressed us to look for. Amen. So here, let me go over to Matthew uh, 15. Let me go one more down. Um, after he says in 14, and then the end shall come, he says, So when you see the abomination that lays waste, or in the King James Version says abomination of desolation, okay, spoken of by Daniel the Nabi, which is the prophet, Put up in the Mikdash, or the temple, he who reads, let him understand. I have that underlined because that's very important. If you go back to the book of Daniel, or Daniel in Hebrew, if you go back to that book, you'll hear a lot of things that was given to that the uh, prophet so that we can know, uh, again, some other things to look for. Uh, Matthew 24 and Daniel, uh, the book of Daniel, probably around 9, 9 uh, through 12 will tell us a lot of end times. If you compare the two books, you can compare uh, uh, Kazon or Revelations, and they will be right on each other. You can 
look at those different books and, and be able to compare the signs and be able to look for the signs. Amen. All right. So let's go to our next book. And it will be Hebrews. I'm sorry. Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter two, verse 15 through 16 first. All right, and I want to take a moment out um, to thank all of those who participated in the assembly to fast, to uh, call unto the Abba and, and have him fill us with his Ruach and teach us uh, the things that we need to look for in these last days. So that's why uh, I wanted to touch on these last days so that we can know as followers what to look for, what to do, and to be uh, led by the Ruach so we can know uh, that he is with us. He is walking with us through these times. Amen. So again, thank you to those who participated in the fast on Thanksgiving, quote unquote. Okay. Do your utmost to present yourself approved to Elohim, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth, or rightly dividing in the King James Version. But keep away from profane, empty babblings for they go on to more wickedness. Drop down to 19. However, the solid foundation of Elohim stands firm, having this seal. Yahuwah knows those who are his, and let everyone who names the name of Mashiach turn away from unrighteousness. Amen. So Shaul is letting us know here that uh, we need we need to turn away from the the babblings of those who are not following the truth of the Mashiach. We're not to uh, partake in that that wickedness. That is that's just going to lead to wickedness when you argue or um, come against those uh, that are trying to knock the truth down. They will never uh, be able to go forward with that. So we know that through these scriptures, we're to avoid that. We're not to have the babblings with those who are trying to come against the truth. That is just wickedness. We need, we need to hold on to the strong foundation, the foundation that we have a sign with the, the Mashiach. And our sign with Elohim is that we uh, obey him. We know that the Mashiach came in the name of Yahuwah. And so we know um, through these scriptures, that is our sign. That is our seal our obedience to the Most High, our uh, uh, confession that Yahushua Mashiach is the son of uh, Elohim. Amen. So let's go further down. And we're going to go um, 22 through 26 of chapter 2. And it reads, And flee from the lust of youth, but pursue righteousness, belief, love, peace, with those calling on the master out of a clean heart, but refuse foolish and stupid, a uh, better word would be unlearned questions, knowing that they breed quarrels. And a servant of the master should not quarrel, but be gentle towards all, able to teach, patient when wronged, in meekness instructing those who are in opposition, least somehow Elohim gives them repentance unto a thorough knowledge of the truth. And they come to their senses out of the snare of the devil, having been taken captive by him to do his desire. Amen. So we hear further down. Again, a confirmation. We're not to argue. We're not to um, quarrel with those who are coming against the Mashiach. We know that that's going to happen. We hear in the scriptures that's going to happen. When we teach, we are to teach in patience. We're to teach in love, in righteousness, and belief. And if they receive the word, amen, they, they will repent. If they don't receive the word, we cannot force the word on anybody. We cannot force the truth on anybody. The truth is the truth, and it can stand alone. It doesn't need us to try to force it on anybody. Amen. All right, so let's continue down in the um, same book of Timotheos chapter 3 now we'll go down to verse 7 and it reads but know this that in the last days 
hard times shall come. For men shall be lovers of self, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, thankless or unthankful, wrongdoers, unloving, unforgiving, slanders without self-control, fierce, haters of good, betrayers, reckless, puffed up, lovers of pleasure, rather than lovers of Elohim, having a form of reverence, but denying its power, and turn from these. From among them are those who creep into households and captivate silly women loaded down with sins, led away by various lusts, always learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Amen. So we hear um, through Shaul, his teachings. Um, for those who are following, we need to watch out for those people with these uh, characteristics. We know that Yahushua Mashiach told us what signs to look for in the world. And now we're hearing there are signs to look for in people. So we not only look at the outside signs, the outward signs, but now we have to look at the characteristics of the people. Those are things that we have to keep in mind that, you know, the apostles are teaching here that we can look for signs in people, the behavior of the people and the, our behavior when we notice these things. Amen. Let's go further down. We're going to go stay in chapter three and let's go from verse 12 through 17. All right. So now we've heard what signs to look for in the world from Mashiach, what signs to look for in people from Shaul. Let's keep going. And indeed, all those wanting to live reverently in Mashiach Yahushua shall be persecuted. Uh -oh. But evil men and impostors shall go on to the worst, leading astray and being led astray. But you stay in what you have learned and trusted, having known from whom you have learned, and that from a child you have known the Kodesh scriptures, which are able to make you wise for deliverance through belief in Mashiach Yahushua. All scripture is breathed by Elohim and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for straightening, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of Elohim might be fitted, equipped for every good work oh man so that's that's good that's that's good for us to know we know uh through these uh scriptures that we're hearing today that the law the the what we've learned from our childhood the kodesh scriptures are good for reproof they're good they're profitable for instruction for straightening us straightening us out during these times that the law is to bring us closer to the mashiach the law is to bring us uh, closer to the most high we uh know when obeying the law we are pleasing to the most high amen so we have that from uh, our childhood from our youth to obey the law but now uh that the mashiach has uh, done his sacrifice he has saved all mankind now we are to hold on to what he has added to that he has added that we are to believe in him we are to uh know that our salvation comes through him and that is uh, in, in assurance for us at this time that is assurance for us to know that we have salvation through him amen so let's go further down let me see oh yeah okay go further down in chapter four and we're going to read one through five and it says in the sight of Yahuwah and the master Yahushua Mashiach, who shall judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his reign. I earnestly charge you, proclaim the word, be urgent in season, out of season, reprove, warn, appeal with all patience and teaching. For there shall be a time when they shall not bear sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, they shall heap up for themselves teachers tickling the air, and they shall indeed turn their ears away from truth and be turned aside to myths. But you be sober in all, 
suffer hardships, do the work of an evangelist, accomplish your service completely. Amen. So again, through Shaul, we hear some more things to look out for. We uh, in these last times, we know that they're going to uh, have teachers that's teaching lies and leading people astray. But through that, we know that we are to proclaim the word in season and out of season just means all the time. We're to proclaim the word all the time. I'm, I like his style um, here that he's showing us because he first shows us what to look for and then he, he then shows us how to combat it. So through the scripture, if you read the scripture and you live the scripture, you know what to look for and then how to combat it. It doesn't just give us a problem and just leave us with a problem. Yahushua said he wouldn't leave us orphans. He sent us the Ruach and the Ruach will teach us how to live the words that we're learning, how to live the scriptures so that it can give us life. And through him, we have life, amen. So we hear um, through Shaul or Paul, we are to proclaim the word. That is our duty in these last days. Our duty is to stand fast Stand on sound doctrine, the, the, the laws of Moshe, uh, Moshe, and the teachings of our, our time now, the, the teachings that we're to live through now, live by, sorry, live by now. The apostles were reaffirming the teachings given before, and they were just better explaining uh, how to live um, a righteous life on it. Okay, yeah, so we, we know that Yahushua gave us the word, you, we know that he's with us. He didn't leave us as orphans. He's, he gave us the Ruach. We know that in order to combat evil and, com, uh, and, and combat these things that's going to come against us, we have to be sound in doctrine. We have to stick to what we know, stick to what we've been taught so that we can overcome the things that's going to come against us in these last days. It's very important that we know what we're looking for. And these are the signs that we're looking for in the world and in people amen okay sorry about that let's go down i'm ranting a little bit let's go down to over i'm sorry let's go over to yukonin one or first john and we're going to read chapter four verses one through three all right and it says beloved ones do not believe every spirit, but prove the spirits, whether they are of Elohim. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Ruach of Elohim. Every spirit that confesses Yahushua Amashiach has come in the flesh is of Elohim. And every spirit that does not confess that Yahushua Amashiach has come in the flesh it's not a, a devil, uh, oh, sorry, of Elohim. And this is that of the anti-Messiah, or uh, better known to people as Antichrist, but the more uh, appropriate term would be anti-Messiah, which you heard is coming and now is already in the world. Now, I read this a uh, couple of lessons ago. We have to uh, test the spirits. And how we do that is through the word. If they come against, if they come with you, with come at you, sorry, with doctrine that's not been taught, which is our sound doctrine, and they don't accept the Mashiach as coming in the flesh, you know that they're not uh, of the spirit of the Ruach. You know that they're against you. So we need to test the spirits in these last days. Test those that come against you. You cannot believe every wind of doctrine that come. Um, in your path. Amen. All right, let's go to chapter five. Chapter five, things we need to know, um, things we must do in these last days and things we must know. And it's going to be chapter 10 through 13. It's imperative that we let these words, we meditate on these particular words, um, in these last times because they will bring everlasting life. Amen. So let's read that. The one who believes in the son of Yahuwah has the witness in himself. The one who does not believe in Yahuwah has made him a liar 
because he has not believed the witness that Yahuwah has given concerning his son. And this is the witness that Yahuwah has given us everlasting life. And this life is in his son. He who possesses the son possesses life. He who does not possess the son of Yahuwah does not possess life. I have written this to you who believe in the name of the son of Yahuwah so that you know that you possess everlasting life and so that you believe in the name of the son of Yahuwah. Amen. In these times, from all the signs that we're noticing and, and going to notice, we're to pay attention to these signs. But the thing that's going to get us through, the thing that's going to help us endure is knowing that we are in the Son of, of Yahuwah. We are in the Son of Yahuwah. That is where our everlasting life comes from. That is what you hold on to. That is how you endure. You hold on to these words that give us some assurance that we have everlasting life when we're in Amashiach. You can know every last word in this Bible and quote every scripture in this Bible. But if you do not have Amashiach, Yahusha Amashiach in your life as your salvation, you will not have everlasting life. So you need to know as a witness, Yahuwah, that is his witness, that his son is everlasting life. Through his son, that is where everlasting life is. So we obey the Tum will, the obey the Tanakh, which is the law, but we also know that our everlasting life comes from Yahusha Amashiach. Amen. Amen. So if you would like to share, uh, subscribe, or uh, like this video, you can do that below. Or you can visit us at our website at spiritlightministries.net. Be strong, endure, read your word, live your word in the name of Yahushua. Amen. Have a good day.